let's get started the first thing you have to do here is to launch your vmix application as you can see on my screen and then the next thing we are going to do is to go to your google chrome browser and then type google ai studio as you can see on your screen and then click on the first link if you are opening the page for the first time to ask you to register with your google gmail account just go to the registration process and then this window will open for you there are a lot of things that we can do with this google ai studio but for the purpose of the tutorial i'm going to click on stream raw time and then you click on share your screen so i want to give permission to google ai studio to use our microphone all right so you just have to accept it over here and then these three windows are going to open for you okay so you are going to get the chrome tab if you want to share your chrome tab you do that if you want to share your window you do that if you want to share the entire screen you do that okay so i'm going to select entire screen click on it like this and then we come down and then you click on share okay so now i've been able to share my screen with google ai studio okay so the next thing that we are going to do is to navigate into the vmix application okay but but before we go let me start my stream over here what do you see on the screen i see a screen capture of the vmix pro software interface it displays a two-panel preview of the video inputs along with a selection of controls and options for video mixing gemini show me a step-by-step -step how i can connect a camera feed into the vmix application okay. okay let's get started first click the add input button at the bottom left of the screen now on the left side of the input select window click on camera all right now you should see the camera settings on the right side of the window Select your desired camera input under the input drop-down. After that, click OK. Okay, Gemini, I want you to explain something to me over here. I can see something like frame rate. What is the best frame rate I should select over here? Frame rate is the frequency at which frames in a video sequence are displayed, which affects the smoothness of the motion scene. And Unigi Ako. The best frame rate depends on what you are filming. For example, a common frame rate for web video and film is 23.976 or 24 FPS frames per second. For TV broadcast in the USA, 29.97 is used, while 25 is standard in Europe. If you're planning on doing slow motion, you could film at higher frame rates like 60 FPS, 120 FPS, or even higher. By Gemini, what is the meaning okay. of this error on the screen? It looks like there's an error message that popped up. It seems to be related to the streaming output. Would you like me to try and explain the error? Or yeah. is there another question okay. you have? The error message you're seeing indicates that there's an issue with the streaming output. Specifically, it says, I.O. error. This means there's a problem with either sending or receiving the streaming signal. The error message also shows the streaming URL, which seems to be pointing to Facebook Live. It's likely there is an issue with the connection to the platform or with the settings in the program. Would you like me to help you troubleshoot? Walk me through how to live stream over here. Walk me through the settings and how I should go about it. Okay. Let's start with the live stream settings. Click the settings cog icon in the top right of the vMix window. Great. Okay. You should now see the streaming settings window. Here you can configure your live stream destinations, the video quality, and other settings. What platform are you looking to stream to? I want to stream to Facebook. You want to stream to Facebook. In the destination drop down, select Facebook Live. Okay, so explain to me the difference between the custom RTMP server and the other streaming uh, protocols down there and tell me which one is recommended for using Facebook. Custom RTMP server option allows you to manually configure the settings if you are streaming to a non standard server or a platform that is not listed. For Facebook, you should select Facebook Live for easier configuration or Facebook Stream Key if you want to copy and paste settings manually. Okay, so I want to use the custom RTMP server. So walk me through that settings. Okay, to use the custom RTMP server, you'll need to manually enter the URL and the stream name or key for your Facebook live stream. This information can usually be found on your Facebook live streaming dashboard. 
Do you know where to find that information? Yes, sure. When you come to the quality section, there are a lot of options over here. So what is the best quality I should select for a person that the internet connection is not that strong? If your internet connection isn't very strong, you should pick a lower resolution to avoid buffering and other issues. Something like H264720 P2.5 megabits per second, AAC 128 kilobits per second, would be a good starting point. This should work on most internet connections while still providing decent video quality. Would you step by step, can you explain to me the meaning of the external button at the down over here? What does that do? Sure, let me explain what the external button does. The external button allows you to start or stop an external output, which would typically be a secondary display or a projector. How do I add lower third to my production? Add a lower third to your production, you'll need to add a new input. In the input window, click add input, then select title or GT title, depending on the type of lower third you wish to add. Is there anything else I can help you with? How do I take a screenshot using the vMix software? To take a screenshot with vMix, use the screenshot button located in the bottom right corner of the screen, next to the overlay button. After that, the screenshot will be saved to your computer. Do you have other questions regarding vMix? How do I use overlays in vMix? To use overlays in vMix, you'll need to first add the source you want to use as an overlay to your inputs. Then, in the main vMix interface, use the overlay buttons, numbered 1 through 4, to display the overlay source over the main output. Would you like to know about other overlay options? Alright guys, so I believe you've enjoyed the tutorials and the next time you want to learn something in vMix and you don't find a tutorial out there, you can use this Google AI Studio software to help you troubleshoot, diagnose and learn something about the vMix application that will be useful and handy to you. Guys, so I'll come your way with another tutorial. Stay blessed and thank you for sticking to the end of the video.